Thousands of dollars in stolen merchandise recovered. Police say two suspects hit several stores at the Edinburgh Outlet Mall, stealing whatever they could get their hands on. Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton shows us why police think this was not their first crime. Jeans, bras, shirts, and shoes. This table is stacked with stolen merchandise, more than $4,500 worth. Police say these two hit the outlet mall in Edinburgh and thought they got away. That's a large theft. Generally, we get a few items here and there, but um, this is somebody that made a plan. They had a plan. They probably had a list that we didn't find or at least some ideals of what they needed to get. Friday afternoon, Edinburgh police were called out to the outlet mall. Employees spotted a couple of suspicious people possibly stealing. One reportedly ran away from mall security. Police ended up tracking down Diani Penente and Yeriel Gabian. Both are from Tennessee and detectives didn't have to look too far to find their van loaded up with stolen items. The large amount of our thefts that do occur down here are folks from out of state and they will come steal and then go back and resell it at a cheaper price. Investigators say the two hit a total of four stores. Chief Dwayne Little showed us a surveillance clip from one of the stores. In the corner, you can see one of the suspects looking at a pair of pants. Within seconds, she bundles them up and shoves them right in a bag. This is not their first time. Not with these kind of devices and this knowledge. Detectives found this device on the suspects, a magnet used to remove the sensors on clothing. The pros are using these. You know, there is somebody that's probably worked in retail, knows how to get that off. Chief Little is crediting alert employees for this bust. He says employees not only got a good description of the suspects, but also gave other stores a heads up about them and then called police so they could take over. Let us do our job. Don't put yourself in harm's way. In Edinburgh, Lindsay Eaton, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you. Nearly all of that stolen merchandise has now been returned to the stores. Both suspects are facing felony theft charges tonight. We do